And this is what we want to see. We want to see just the turbo and the white skate because we're going to test the white skate. Um, if you want to know how to, t how to test the white skate, we'll get into that. And basically, it is just pressure. So there's a hose that goes from here to here, unless you have a little nice little controller. Maybe and, I do. Yep. <laughs> and as it builds up pressure here, it sends that pressure up to this diaphragm, which opens this valve. And this valve will open when it reaches its set pressure. Seven pounds, 10 pounds, depending on what it's set at. There's even got some nice ones that are adjustable right here. And you have an adjustment nut. And we can control the pressure on there. When it gets up to, let's say, 10 pounds, then this rod will move and open the wastegate. All that a wastegate is, is, the exhaust is coming in here to spool up our turbo. If we open the wastegate, it bypasses the exhaust and it sends it out the exhaust pipe. So basically, if we leave this closed, the turbo spins faster. We open this, the turbo spins slower. So that is the whole key of a turbo, you know, really tuning a turbo nicely. It's this wastegate right here, opening and closing the wastegate, which is controlled by the boost on the inlet side. What we can do here in the shop is just test it, and we can check to see when the wastegate's open. That we can do. We can't test how the turbo is going to react not under load. We can put 10 pounds of boost here and we can adjust stuff to where the valve starts opening at 10 pounds. So I can adjust the, the wastegate to, you tell me you want 10 pounds of boost, I can do that. That's not a problem. Is The problem is that we can't, we don't know how the, you know, some cars, you adjust the wastegate at 10 pounds and it'll only make seven pounds of boost. They're not putting enough load in the car and they just can't make it. The wastegate is staying close to 10 pounds, but yet it won't make more than seven pounds of boost. So that doesn't mean because I set it at 10, you're going to get 10. Right, and a lot of people don't realize that just because you set it at 10 um, doesn't mean that that's the highest it's ever going to get. You know, people don't don't really think about boost creep, though, you know, you set it for 10 and then it creeps up to 12 in exactly. my case. And so you got to prepare and plan for that. Most, most of the definitely. You said there's a 10. All that means is that I'm telling the wastegate to open a 10 PSI. And if everything is cool, it opens up and it's, it's not going to get to 11. But if the turbo is, is capable of doing 12, 13, 14 pounds of boost, even though the wastegate is fully open, there's still enough pressure spinning up, the, spooling up this turbo. You know, like we just said, you know, a boost creep. It's going to start creeping up on you, yep. even though the wastegate is already open. Now it's cool when you have a wastegate and you combine that with a pop-off valve. You know, so now mm -hmm. we can put a pop-up valve on the inlet side when we're just pumping air. Once you put fuel into it, you don't want to put a pop-up valve in, in, in that stream. You'd be blowing off uh, air and fuel into your oh God. engine compartment. No. Well, some people that don't even realize that would think you put a pop-up valve and oh, no. So you put a pop-up valve on when it's just air. Okay. When, when it's just air, then what you can do, you can have some more control of it. Now the wastegate is controlling how fast the trouble spools, but now we have an, another controller on the inlet pressure and we can set it at 10. And if it gets above 10, then you hear that cool, you know, depending if you're popping into the atmosphere or you're, you're popping <laughs> Recirculating, and we, yeah. And we always want to hear that cool. Yep, uh, so, I certainly do. <laughs> yes, yeah, so. Um, Insert picture of my blow off valve here. <laughs> All right. even pop off the clip and there it is and when you put it on you can even see that there is load on it it's already loosened up that yeah. load that's the, pr the preload on the wastegate oh so you can see that it's already got a, a pr preload on it and you can see it's spring loaded so it's working against the spring and it's working against boost so the, the spring and the boost are all working together but you can see it's preloaded to keep that valve shut mm -hmm. once we unload it and get rid of the valve now we can see there's our big hole that's going to bypass spinning the turbine so when it goes under boost and it has already too much it opens it bypasses it closes opens closes and that's actually working really good now we can quickly test this with our cool little fufu air <laughs> oh uh, he makes fun this. of me for this this is the coolest thing in the world here's a here's he, okay so here's. he had that one and there's like no throttle modulation like it's, it's on or in, off yeah so i blew off a keeper and it and it annoyed me so i brought my nice adjustable one so i, I adjusted it all the way down to the bottom and then he's making fun of me for bringing oh. these fufu tools and it does it does get 
you know, it's, it blows. Oh, you know, yeah. But it's actually pretty cool, so you don't blow keepers and everything. <laughs> and for this particular thing, me joking around at your fufu thing is because I'm jealous of it. It's not really because I'm, you know, not, you know, really, this is better. Why? Because now we can test this without blowing it away. You know, we can actually sit here and look at that. Oh, whoa! And I, and I, I don't suggest that, that, that people do this. And I never suggest people do this because they, because you know they got one of my manly air guns, <laughs> and you you would actually blow the, the, the diaphragm in here. Oh, so, oh. So yeah, you would actually in testing it, you you destroyed it because you're gonna put it you know 100 pounds of pressure. It's not made 100 pounds. It's made for about 10. So so really, what you could do here is put a little gauge with a little regulator, put the air into it, and then I can adjust it and check when it's working. So here. We could put a gauge here and see how much you know pressure we have. And this is what's happening. When it goes into boost, it does this. You see that? Mm -hmm. So now when it goes into boost, it opens up, goes out of boost, it comes out. That is so, so cool. So now what we just done, we just tested the wastegate, and we know we have a good wastegate. I can't tell you right now at what pressure this wastegate is set at, but we could do that. Right. We, we could just put up a little gauge and just start turning the gauge, and as soon as it starts to open, we know that's when this wastegate is starting to open. Right, yeah. Um, so that's why we would cut these and we would shorten them, putting <gasps> I, more load and yep. increasing our, our, our boost. Yep. But like what you're doing over here on this side, this hose that goes here, you actually took it and put a little valve in there. Yes, a manual boost controller. Yes. Yes. And what you're doing is you're bleeding off some of the pressure mm. so that this doesn't open. As opposed to putting a heavier spring, you're just changing it over here. All acceptable, and now you can do all kinds of things. When we were growing up, you had to cut this and, you know. But anyway, so there, there's a wastegate. We know it's good. We don't know exactly what it comes in now. You know because you've driven the car. So let's go back to our food. food thing. All right. <laughs> A long time there wasn't any options. What we used to have to do is cut this right here, and we would thread this and put an adjustment little little nut, and then we could actually sit there. Volvo has that. Uh, a lot of the will have an adjustable one here. You don't want to mess with that. Leave that alone. Leave that alone. You, your only way that you really want to tune a wastegate is under boost. You know, so you got to choose what kind of boost you're getting. Right. You know, and you're not uh, a turbo is not going to produce the boost unless it's under load. So you can you can try to tune stuff when the motor's not under load, the turbo's gonna act different under load. So you really gotta have it on a chassis dyno or out on the street and actually load it, watch your boost gauge, and then slowly start tuning on it. So it's not something you're gonna just do on the table and go, oh, I got it pretty close. You're gonna get it pretty close, but that's not that's not the way to do it. You, right. you, you wanna actually do it on the, on the car under load. It's the, the proper way to do it. 